boys and girls, welcome to Sandy's story. Today's story is, which is which? James sat at his desk, just staring into space. There was a smile on his face and his body seemed to limp as one hand on his chin as if holding up his head. James! James, come to the board and solve this problem, called Mr. Carter. James jumped out of his dreamland to hear the teacher calling him to the chalkboard. He hurried to the board because he knew Mr. Carter was a very serious teacher who was, he, he didn't kid around much. He was very stern. James wasn't able to solve the problem because he wasn't listening to the instructions to solve the math problem. Mr. Carter snatched the chalk from James' hand and ordered him to return to his seat. James was very embarrassed because before the classmates, you know, James tried to concentrate on the rest of the class lesson. The class ended and James quickly grabbed his books and headed to the door. Lenny, his classmate friend, said to James, James, what's wrong with you, man? Mr. Carter actually gave us the answer to the math problem. We were you. It's like you were, your body is here, but your mind is elsewhere. Oh, goes James and walked away and headed home. Well, James thought to himself, I'd rather think about living in my world. I can control everything there and change to whatever situation I want it to be. James sat before, guess what? the TV and was watching a war movie when he decided to slip into a make-believe world. James pictured himself as the lead star in the movie. He pictured himself, guess what? Poor James. Shooting of cannons. He think he's in a movie world. And, and guess what? He even started to think of himself driving a tanker and destroying everything in sight. Oh boy. In James' world, no one was able to touch him at all for he could make himself powerful. Well, James sat on the sofa for most of the day in dreamland. James began to develop a world of make-believe where it started to become to him as the real world, like reality they call it. He believed he can make his life the way he wanted it and others around him will accept it or live the same life he believed. Oh, what a confused world. But a confused world James was living in. Well, a few days later, James was in his classroom when his teacher, that's Mr. Carter, said to the student, we are having a test next week and all need to review chapter 16 and you know what do chapter 17 also this is very important and will determine if you will make the finals so it's your responsibility to study 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 mm. james and the other students wrote down the information and the test date also. 
James and Lenny chatted for a while before they separated for their homes. Lenny suggested that they study together. James agreed and went their way to their homes. Two days later, Lenny, guess what? Called James on the phone. Hey James, we are meeting today at 2 p.m. at the library. Okay, see you there, said James. James and Lenny met and started studying the chapters. It wasn't long before James slipped into a daze. Mm. He started talking out whatever conversation he was having in his head. Lenny called at James. What? James! Hey boy, James! James to Earth! James laughed and said, What's up, man? What's your problem? Lenny answered, What's going on with you? Lady, you've been in another place, like another world, you know, in a daze, like far away. Like now you're talking to yourself. James only said, I'm just thinking. Lenny said, thinking? We got to study for the test. So focus, man. They studied for the next hour and with Lenny trying to keep James focused. Lenny tried meeting with James two more days before the test, but James always came up with excuses. Well, the day of the test came and all the students sat at their desk. Mr. Carter ordered all books and bags off the desk and he walked between the desks and placed the test paper on each desk before the uh, students. He said, you have 45 minutes to complete this test. Do your best. He then sat down. Well, James put his name on the top of the paper and began to solve the problems of the on the paper of the mat. James was doing well when 20 minutes into his test, James's mind wandered away into make-believe world. James seems to be enjoying his thoughts. James was losing time and needed to finish his test, but he was caught up in his thoughts that he forgot he was doing a test. James practiced doing this so often that now he lost track of the real world. He now couldn't tell which is which. Just then Mr. Carter says, pencils on your desk. James was talking to himself and smiling when Mr. Carter shouted, I said pencil on your desk, James. James heard his name and jumped out of his fantasy world and stood up. The class burst out in laughter. James was so embarrassed. Mr. Carter ordered the students to bring their test to his desk. James looked at his paper and realized that he didn't finish his test. He noticed that he messed up big time. The results of the test were given to the student two days later. James has failed his test. He realized that the ones he did were correct, but he didn't finish the test. So the unsolved ones were counted as wrong. James had to face reality. That means real life that he failed his finals and won't be able to make it to the next grade. What a sad and painful thing that happened for James. Oh boy, only if James had 
been in the real world. Well, boys and girls, it is not a bad thing to pretend or imagine or, you know, sometimes they dream of little things here and there. But if it becomes where you end up, where you cannot recognize what is real from what is not, then you have a big problem. You will end up confusing yourself and you will become sad. Put your thoughts in Jesus. Jesus will help you to develop a healthy mind. Let's go to 1 Timothy 4, 7. The New King James Version says, But reject profane or old wives' fable. That's make-believe. The things are not so. And exercise yourself towards godliness. So don't waste your time on foolishness, but exercise your mind towards godliness. Okay? Let's pray. Oh Lord, thank you for being our God. Please teach us to seek you to guard our minds from idle thoughts. Please help us to be obedient and train us to study. Study your words. In Jesus' name we trust and pray. Amen and amen. Well, boys and girls, as I always say after Bible or storytelling, is we're going to move on to what? Nature Nuggets. So I will see you there. Remember, see you. Bye. Welcome back to Nature Nuggets. Yes, yes, yes. A turtle. Well, turtles are considered reptiles. Yes. Turtle says a shell on their backs. Researchers say that the shell is made up of large hard scales called, I guess I'm pronounced, I don't know if I pronounced it right, uh, scutes, scutes, or scutes. They have 13 scutes on top of their shell. Depending on the species of the turtle, the color of their shell comes in yellow, reddish brown, greenish brown, olive green, or black. The turtle's head color can be solid, striped, or spotted with red, yellow, or orange. Ooh. Turtles can change colors as they get older. When they're young, the color is brighter than when they are older. Turtles do not have teeth. They have beaks. They have very strong jaw muscle to crack their food. Their diet consists of crabs, jellyfish, shrimp, sardines, and vegetation. Sea turtles weigh about 100 pounds and grow about two feet long. The largest sea turtle are, guess what, the leatherback turtle. They um about, let me see, four to six feet long and weighs 660 to 1,100 pounds. Listen, that's a lot. Turtles and turtles are different, although they would think they are the same. Well, turtles have rounded and domed, like a dome shell, while the turtle have thinner and say to help in swimming. The turtles spend their life in water, while the turtles spend most of their time on land. There are 356 species of turtles living in on land, sea water and fresh water. They can be found everywhere on earth except, guess, guess where? Antarctica. Turtles have four legs. The snap. You ever heard of the snapping turtle? Well, the snapping turtle and the mud turtle 
walks along the water bottom, just like when they walk on dry land. Well, other species swim with their legs. See, with their little legs, you see right here. They call the turtle legs, let's see, flippers. Researchers say turtles and turtles are the only animals with a backbone whose shoulder blades are inside, guess what? The rib cage. Isn't that something? Be very careful because turtles do bite if they feel they're threatened. The large turtles can cause serious damages. Turtles hide their heads in their shell for protection. Turtles or uh, say predators include crabs, sharks, dolphins, snapper, snapper, that's a fish, um, barracuda, lizard, birds, wild pigs, coyotes, raccoons, and dogs. Wow, that's a lot of predators. These turtles are threatened by so many predators. For us, we have a predator that tries to destroy us daily. The Bible says devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Well, thank God for his arms of safety. So get in the protection arms of God today. So, okay, boys and girls, I will see you next time. Don't forget to tell mommy and daddy to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, talk to you then. Bye now and have a wonderful week.